So good day guys, it's Techno here again. So today I'm going to be showing you a video on the Samsung Galaxy Fold review. Yeah, so Samsung Galaxy Fold is one of the most exciting smartphones in 2019. So Samsung Galaxy Fold also has a new mobile phone factor. It also has negative, which for some would be a deal breaker. But if you are interested in the latest edge cutting technology, then Samsung Galaxy Fold should be top on your list so the Samsung Galaxy Fold has some really good features like the Supreme Nickel form factor great display with HDR10 plus and six cameras yeah six cameras so it's also have some its negatives like no stable crisp and large screen huge price and no 5G or expandable storage so why don't you click on the subscribe button below and also the bell icon to receive updates whenever I upload the video. And you could also put down your comments in the comment section in case you want me to add, remove or put something. So, comments will be highly accepted. <laughs> Design. Samsung believes the Galaxy Fold has the most intuitive form factor for a foldable phone, with the screen folding in on itself to provide protection, much like laptop. The company certainly hasn't taken the challenge of designing of its first foldable phone lightly. This is a phone that's been 10 years in the making and has gone through over 1,000 different prototypes. The book-like folding action does feel like a natural way to open the handset, and it's certainly easier to get to grips with than the Huawei Mate X. Huawei has taken the opposite design approach to Samsung, with the screen on the outside of its device when it's folded. Open up the Galaxy Fold fully to reveal the 7.3-inch display and the 20-part dual-axis hinge locks into place preventing you from overextending the display past 180 degrees. Fold it back up and the phone snaps shut with a satisfying sound, giving you confidence that it won't accidentally unfurl itself in your bag. Samsung has spent a lot of time working on the dual axis hinge, and it gives the device a tactile feel, with a smooth movement between its two states. It's been designed to withstand more than 200,000 folds and unfolds, which works out at 100 opens and shuts a day for 5 years, so it should last. It certainly feels sturdy, and capable of surviving repeated folding and unfolding, and a nice touch is the way the hinge disappears into the body of each half of the phone when it's fully open. The fingerprint sensor is located on the right edge of the lower half of the device when it's closed, falling nicely under thumb or finger, and so it remains in that position when the phone is unfolded. The sensor also acts as a big speed launch button when pressed, jumping you straight into Samsung's smart assistant. Above the digit reader there are power, lock and volume keys, also in easy to reach positions, while on the base of the fold you will find a USB-C port on one half of the bottom frame and a speaker on the other half. There is, however, no headphone jack. There are two speakers, the second one is on the top edge of the phone, providing stereo sound tuned by AKG and boasting Dolby Atmos support. As fun and futuristic as the Galaxy Fold design is, however, it's also big, bulky and heavy. The fold measures 62.9 by 160.9 by 17 millimeters, making it double the thickness of most smartphones. That means it's not so easy to slide into pockets, especially if you're a fan of skinny jeans. It tips the scales at 269 grams, making it one of the heaviest devices on the market. For comparison, the Galaxy S10 Plus is 175 grams, the iPhone XS Max is 208 grams, and the Huawei Mate 20 Pro comes in at 189 grams. The Galaxy Fold will be available in Space Silver, Cosmos Black, Martian Green and Astro Blue, with the green and blue variants exclusive to Samsung's website. In the hand the Gorilla Glass 6 covered Galaxy Fold feels solid, but it doesn't quite have the same premium appeal as its S10 siblings, which present a classier finish in the palm. Another thing to note is that the Galaxy Fold is a huge fingerprint magnet, we were constantly wiping the handset down during our hands-on time, and the super reflective glass body shows up fingerprints clearly. Display the Samsung Galaxy Fold has two screens, with the 4.6-inch HD Plus Super AMOLED display on the front, when the device is closed in phone mode, feeling a little small by today's standards, when most phones have screens which are at least 5 inches in size. 
It's made to feel smaller thanks to the sizable bezels above and below, reminiscent of phones from around 10 years ago. It's a trade-off that has to be made, as the tech has to fit somewhere, and the benefit of its diminutive size is that it can be easily used one-handed. In terms of aesthetics, though, it's far from pleasing to the eye. In a world where bezels are disappearing almost completely, the look here is a real blast from the past, and when you consider the asking price for the Samsung Galaxy Fold, some may argue that its appearance, at least in phone mode, doesn't quite match its premium price tag. The small display is bright and clear though, with Samsung's Super AMO LED panel providing plenty of color. You can easily navigate Android, and it's useful for checking notifications, reading messages and controlling music playback. The larger tablet display, which comes into play when the phone is opened, features an advanced composite polymer layer that's stuck to the body with a foldable adhesive, allowing the display to bend. It's also the thinnest display Samsung has ever made. When the device is opened you're greeted by a 7.3 inch QXGA plus QHD plus dynamic AMO LED display that's bright, clear, crisp and colorful. It also supports HDR10 plus for an enhanced viewing experience with supported video. According to Samsung the screen boasts the world's best contrast ratio and has excellent outdoor visibility. We only got hands on with the Galaxy Fold indoors though, so you'll have to wait for our full review to find out if it can live up to that latter claim. However, there is one fairly major point to note about this display, the crease. If you look at the display at an angle, there's a noticeable crease running down the entire length of the screen in the middle, where it folds. It's not something that can be remedied or hidden, and you'll have to learn to live with it if you do opt to splash the cash on the Galaxy Fold. That said, the crease is much less noticeable when you're viewing the screen head-on, it's still there, though, and when we fired up Asphalt 8 for a quick race it disappeared from view as we focused on the game, we came first naturally. Samsung says the crease won't get more pronounced over the time, so those fearing that it'll become more noticeable over time should be able to rest easy, although we'll only really know how it holds up a year or two down the line. Interface and performance. There are various ways you can use the Samsung Galaxy Fold. When closed, the phone mode provides one-handed operation for tasks such as calls and music playback. The 4.6-inch display operates like that of a regular smartphone, so apps and games work as you'd expect, although with a bigger screen just a quick unfold away, working on the smaller screen can feel cramped. Open the device up into tablet mode, and the larger screen makes social media, messaging, web browsing, gaming and photo, video editing much easier. Each time you transition from one screen to the other, compatible apps will follow your usage patterns for a seamless experience. For example, if you launch Google Maps in phone mode, and then open the fold-up Google Maps will automatically be displayed on the big screen. Every app that comes pre-installed on the Galaxy Fold, including Google's suite of apps, WhatsApp and Microsoft Office, supports continuity between displays, and it'll be up to other developers to make their applications compatible. Samsung says it's easy to add the necessary functionality, as it doesn't require developers to redesign existing apps, they just need to add extra features but we'll have to wait and see how widely it's adopted. It's also unclear how many apps will support the 4-3 aspect ratio of the Galaxy Fold's tablet mode display, as it's much squarer than the screens currently found on smartphones, there may be a bit of a wait while core apps build in support for this aspect ratio. You can also use two or three different apps side by side on the large display in multi-active window mode. Open up an app on the big screen, then slide your finger in from the middle of the right side to open up a panel of compatible multi-active window apps. Tap one and it'll gobble up half of the display alongside the app that's already open. Perform the same action to bring up the app menu again, and tap a third choice, and this app will then take up a quarter of the display below the second app which is also reduced in size to 25%. You can then swap the positions of the apps by dragging and dropping them, and you can adjust the width of the apps by dragging the central division line from side to side. Load up a game Asphalt 8 in our case on the big screen and the Galaxy Fold will automatically rotate the app 90 degrees, forcing you to turn the device. There's a clever reason for this though, as it provides better orientation for the stereo speakers for an improved audio experience. The Samsung Galaxy Fold has been optimized with the Unity game engine, which means games which run on that platform will perform superbly here. 
There's more than enough power under the hood, with the Galaxy Fold packing a 7 nanometers octa-core processor and 12 gigabytes of RAM. It means Android 9 coated in Samsung's One UI runs smoothly under finger with apps opening swiftly. You also get 512 gigabytes of storage inside the Fold, providing plenty of space for apps, games, movies, music, photos and more, and for most that will be more than you'll ever use for serious power users, though it's worth noting that the Galaxy Fold doesn't offer any expandable storage, so you're stuck with that 512 gigabytes unless you opt to send your data to the cloud. Cameras and battery. The Samsung Galaxy Fold comes with six cameras, yes, six. The main trio are found on the rear of the device with a 1-2MP main sensor F, 1.5F, 2.4OIS joined by a 1-2MP telephoto lens F, 2.4OIS and a 1-6MP ultra-wide angle lens F, 2.2. This is exactly the same setup as you'll find on the Samsung Galaxy S10 and Galaxy S10 Plus, so performance should be excellent. You get one 10MP f 2.2 camera on the front of the Galaxy Fold, above the 4.6-inch display, for the odd gratuitous selfie or hastily arranged video conference, while opening up the device reveals two cameras in a notch which eats into the top right of the display. Within this notch a 10MP camera with the same specs as the selfie camera is joined by an 8MP f 1.9 depth sensing camera which provides the information for Samsung's background blur live focus mode. The benefits of having a large 4-3 aspect ratio display when it comes to photography are clear. First up, you get a sizable light preview, giving you a clear indication of what your photo will look like before you hit the shutter button. Second, the 4-3 aspect ratio matches the aspect ratio of the cameras, and thus your final images, which means that what you see on screen is exactly what will show up in your camera roll, with the whole screen used and no black bars filling in wasted space. Turning to the battery, and the Samsung Galaxy Fold breaks with tradition again as it packs two power packs, one in each half. The two batteries combine to provide a total capacity of 4,380 milliamp hours, which Samsung told TechRadar should provide all day power, although that will be heavily dependent on how you use the handset. If you spend most of your time using the 7.3-inch tablet display we expect the battery will drain much faster, but you'll have to wait for our in-depth review to find out just how it fares. The Galaxy Fold supports wireless charging, and it packs the same wireless power share feature as the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus, allowing you to charge other wireless charging compatible devices on the rear. It even has a small magnet by the charging coil to keep devices, such as the Galaxy Buds, in place, which should hopefully avoid them slipping off easily. Hey guys, so there you go on the Samsung Galaxy Fold review. So, if you have any comments, just put it below in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. See you soon.